So I don't know if anyone's uh, late staged ADHD like me and have been having just, I don't know what it's called, regression. Seems like you're re regressing, uh, regressing before you pr start progressing. So with me, uh, one year ago almost, I started Vivance for the first time. Absolutely eye-opening. If I was a religious person, I would have said, like, the hand of God touched me. Just, that was how much of a difference starting Vivance made for me. But, now, with that, Vivance takes away some of your hunger. I don't know if it takes it away, or I just straight up forget, honestly, that I'm hungry. <laughs> but, so, I've been struggling with losing too much weight and not consuming enough which has been really bothering me. But, I don't know if, any, and I'm, I'm also in the process of, I'm getting in a top, I can't speak today. I'm getting my autism assessment in about two months. So that's another thing that, Makes me assume I have a lot of food sensitivity, smells, all that stuff. Uh, to go along with the having a harder time eating than what I remember before the Vivants. Just unfolding all those extras that I was trying to just shove down. Anyways, I've been horribly sick with this, this sinus infection. And I'm on like... Any, any IV, <laughs> IV antibiotics for it. And I have discovered my favorite thing, not favorite, but my goodness, I started eating because they gave me pregnizone. And I'm just constantly, that's all my mind's doing is mapping out where my next meal is coming. And it's amazing. <laughs> Better than any weed munchie. Oh, why can't, why couldn't that be like part of the, here's your, your Vivance. And if you're having a little bit of a hard time struggling, take a few days of prednisone. <laughs> I understand it's a steroid. Yeah, it was for all my swelling and stuff because my sinus infection went straight over into my eye and it, it was bad but just the fact that I had this pit of hunger that was just staying <sighs> it felt good to just be eating because I want because I felt like eating because I wanted to eat and I'd actually drop stuff to eat. And it's just, this late stage diagnosed bullshit is just, it's such a learning curve as someone that's worked my entire life to better myself. And then to like, start from what feels like the absolute first stage again is, is difficult, but Oh, my goodness, if I could stay on that prednisone for a bit and, like, chunk up, that'd be amazing. Oh. Gain 30 pounds in, like, a little while? Not have to worry. But, but no, that's been my biggest worry, fear, if you will, as someone that's found a medication that literally helps me be me. It takes the saran wrap off or the mask off or it, my self-critical internal thoughts, internal monologue are just so much nicer, kinder, accepting. And then to feel like 
it could get taken away because I'm losing too much weight. Like, it's a stressful, stressful idea. Understanding. But just having that thought, like, after having the pregnisone and feeling like, oh, I actually can eat again. So I'm hoping that really just jump started everything. But yeah, if you're going through any late stage stuff and you can relate, let me know because it'd make me feel so much better not being the only one. And, you know, if you have any, any of your own uh, understandings, thoughts, more more uh, knowledge behind the stages of trying to figure out this new stage of life. I would absolutely love to hear it. Because it's so nice not to feel necessarily so alone with stuff that seems so trivial that... It just felt like everyone had it worked out, figured out. No, I never could. Whew. Anyway, a little bit of a tangent going off everywhere. So, anyways, take care of yourselves. Be kind to your mind. Love yourself. First and foremost. So that you can love the people around you the best to your ability.